This short little video, which helpfully actually uses to explain everything to create itself, will hopefully talk through and give you some ideas about how you can use explain everything for feedback. First up, let's explain how some of these tools work over here on the left hand side. This first tool up here on the left hand side I call my move tool. With that tool you can do things such as resize your image that you might have on your page, uh, like I'm doing right now, um, move it around, uh, sort of make it bigger, smaller, so forth and so on. And it's a really helpful tool when you're bringing things in uh, so you can uh, move it around. The next tool, uh, moving down, uh, allows you to put in uh, extra slides when you click on it or tap on it. The next one down, uh, which I use quite a lot, is the pencil tool. And you can press and hold on that and it will give you the opportunity to uh, change the style of your pen, uh, the thickness of it, so forth and so on. This option here gives you the ability to put in different shapes. Uh, so if you want to um, talk about something, you can choose the arrow, for example, and point at it, like so. Uh, there are other shapes um, you can choose from, such as a circle, square, line, or star. You can put a shadow on it, um, or not, uh, and uh, a border as well. The next tool down uh, is the typing tool. And there's a variety of different fonts. Uh, available to you, um, going to different sizes that you can use and put onto your page. The next option down um, is one that I use quite a bit. Uh, this option um, here is the one that allows you to put in extra media. Uh, so you can bring in photos from your um, camera roll, but it also links to all your various social media as well. So you can um, bring in things like Dropbox or Box or Google Drive objects, so forth and so on. Uh, you can also open a browser window and pull things from online uh, and put that in and you can browse within whilst you're recording as well. Uh, you can put in a brand new picture if you want to draw a new picture or um, bring something straight in or you can record a new video and put that in as well. Lots that you can do there. Uh, the next option down allows you to delete things. Uh, so um, if you're using the pen tool it shows up as a rubber like you can see uh, here at the moment. Um, if you are not on the pen tool, you get a little uh, red cross. And the red cross, when you choose it, allows you to delete things, like I'm going to do here now with this arrow. The next option down uh, is the um, pointer tool. And I've been using that an awful lot. Uh, you can see the laser pointer option at the moment, but there's a variety of other options as well, uh, such as this mouse pointer uh, and a variety of other mouse pointers. And there's the hand and, and other bits and bobs you can choose from. Those are the main tools that I use really whilst I'm actually creating things live like I am right now. Um, although obviously the undo tool is very helpful. And the undo tool is the one which you can see uh, just here. Uh, the one underneath that uh, is your zoom tool. And the one underneath that there will um, sort of move the um, toolbar to the side and, and give you more drawing area space. Down the bottom here, you can see you've got different colours, and you can choose uh, from more than those colours by pressing and holding on them, and it will give you a palette you can choose from. So, for example, I could, uh, if I wanted to, uh, write uh, in black, or I could write in red, or I could write in blue. But by pressing and holding, and then choosing different colours, I can then go through and write in different colours as well. So you're not limited to the colours that are just there, those three. You can press and hold on them and then change them. OK. So how can I use Explain Everything to give feedback to students? Well, it's relatively easy. You can open from Dropbox or from your email uh, where you have attachments or from Google Drive or from any of your various file sharing um, tools and different file types straight into Explain Everything. Now, I haven't been and looked at the list, uh, but I know that I can import Keynote files, PowerPoint files, Word files, so forth and so on, and bring them straight into Explain Everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in a random Word document, uh, imagine that it's a piece of student's work, and show you how you can annotate it and work on it and give feedback. So there's a variety of ways in which you can bring work across from other apps into Explain Everything. Um, I mean, 
the most common way that you will probably um, get work in to explain everything to give them feedback will probably be from one of these services like Foldart or Dropbox or Google Drive or something like that. Um, and what you're really after when you're doing that is for you to be looking for this whole open in another app option that we can see up here. I'll just draw around it so you can see it a bit more clearly. Uh, this is what you're after, this open in another app option. Um, as you can see, this document here is in pages, um, and I'm going to open it up in another app. I'll, I'll go through to the next uh, section. Here you can see that you've got a variety of formats that you can choose from. Uh, in the slide that you're going to see after this one, uh, you'll notice that I uh, chose PDF. Uh, PDF is a good option for getting it across um, because uh, it retains the um, images uh, that you can see here. So I chose PDF, but different options give you different things. So, for example, by choosing PDF format, it actually puts in extra slides for you. Um, so you only get one page per slide. Um, and that sort of thing happens when you put in a presentation as well. Um, but if you choose pages or Word um, documents, then it gives you a continuous page you can go through. Uh, but you'll see what it looks like now. So how do you go about giving the feedback? Well, it, something like this, really, I guess. OK, so I've received your work. Um, thank you for sending it through. Um, one of the first things I wanted to uh, highlight to you, please, in uh, your work is that um, some of these sentences uh, are actually rather long. And, and to be fair, quite conversational. If we just zoom in a little bit on here, this first sentence here, it's a good start, uh, but you know, say it's quite conversational and quite long. So what we'd be looking for is something that's sort of using technical language um, if we're trying to sort of hit the higher uh, literacy marks for this piece of work. Uh, good use of images though. Um, I can see the uh, lady here wearing the uh, Santa hat. She clearly was having a good time. Um, I'm guessing she may well be this person here um, referred to in the document, Lisa Jane Ashes. So as you can see, as we work through the document, we can annotate it, we can highlight it with different pointers, uh, as you can see me doing here and what have you. We can uh, sort of draw lines and around different objects and parts of it. Um, we, can, we can do lots with it. We can uh, shift it around. And you'll notice that as I move this page around, so the annotations I've made stick to it, which is really, really nice. Now... Um, if I'd imported this as a Word file, then this would have been a continuous document and it would have carried on down below. But because it's a PDF, it goes through onto two pages. And so the second page of this here is um, here. But what I can do is I can continue to then talk over the top. I can continue with my uh, various pointing out things about triangles and and um, take holes and so forth and so on. Uh, I can annotate it again. I can uh, move it around as well. It keeps all those things on it, so forth and so on. And so it's a really good way of giving uh, some uh, great feedback uh, to students. Um, feedback to me from my students about using Explain Everything for feedback is that they really like it. Uh, I can say a lot more than I would be able to write down. Uh, should I want to um, sort of do written feedback? Uh, they also like the fact that they could stop it and rewind it uh, and play it back. And uh, it's a particular favourite with um, my students, which are dyslexic, uh, because um, it's much better for them because they can stop it and rewind it and listen to it, so forth and so on, and not have to worry about um, reading all of the feedback and it actually making sense. So uh, that's me uh, explaining explain everything and how you can use it for feedback. My name is Mark Anderson and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you.